Hey guys, so, so today we're making lemon, maple, and brown sugar glazed chicken. I'm going to be roasting the chicken and I'm pairing it with some Mexican style rice. So, so delicious. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so I'm starting by making a fresh batch of green seasoning for the chicken. So... In the green seasoning today I'm putting a piece of fresh ginger I'm also gonna be putting garlic onion cilantro parsley scallion if I had thyme I would put it as well and also I usually put one scotch bonnet pepper and some pimento peppers then I add a little bit of olive oil or water and a little bit of vinegar to preserve the green seasoning okay so I add all of that in uh, my blender or a Nutribullet and I blend it up until it's to a consistency that I like okay you can leave it a little chunky or you can blend it until it's smooth it's up to you all right so I made a fresh batch of that and I'm gonna be seasoning the chicken with this today okay so let's start to season the chicken I'm using chicken drumsticks and I already washed them and now I'm gonna start seasoning it. so I added a few tablespoons of the green seasoning mix then I'm also gonna be adding in paprika powder onion powder garlic powder salt black pepper a little bit of amchar masala now if you can't find that you can just use ground cumin okay Next, you're going to mix all of the seasonings onto the chicken really well. Make sure the chicken is fully coated with the seasoning. And then cover this and let the chicken marinate in the refrigerator for at least one hour. If you guys have time, let it sit overnight so that the chicken will have maximum flavor and just taste amazing. Okay, so once it's time for it to bake, you're going to get your casserole dish or your baking dish, whatever you're using. Spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then you're going to place the pieces of chicken into the dish. Don't overcrowd the pan, you guys, because you want the chicken to roast really well, okay? So kind of separate them. If you need to use two dishes, do so, all right? But here I'm only using four pieces of chicken drumsticks. So, yeah, it wasn't much at all. So, yeah, you're going to place the chicken into the dish and also the marinade. If there's any marinade left over in the bulb, pour it on top of the chicken. That is flavor we want in our chicken. So, I preheated my oven to 375 degrees and I placed the chicken in the oven and bake it for one hour. So, while the chicken is baking, we're going to make the glaze that's going to go on top of the chicken, okay? So, you want to get a bowl. And I'm gonna melt two tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is melted, I mixed in one tablespoon of brown sugar. Mix that really well with the butter. And then I'm gonna add some maple syrup, about one fourth of a cup of maple syrup. And also the juice of half a lemon. Mix that really well until it's combined. And then you're gonna set that aside until the chicken comes out of the oven, okay? So once the chicken comes out of the oven after the hour, we're gonna take the glaze we made and pour it all over the chicken. All right, you can use a turkey baster to help baste the chicken with that glaze and the sauce in the dish, okay? And then you're gonna preheat the oven now to 450 degrees. We wanna turn the heat up and place back the chicken into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes just until it crisps up and the chicken looks nicely glazed and just delicious now during that time you guys you can remove the chicken once and just baste it with the sauce in the pan one more time just so it's nice and shiny and perfectly glazed okay and once it looks nice and a little bit crispy you we're finished making the chicken you can remove it from the oven Okay, so once it's finished cooking, it should look something like this. As you can see, it's nicely brown and just delicious looking and it tastes so amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to make the Mexican style rice. The Mexican rice is so delicious. Oh my God, the flavor in it. I hope you guys give it a try. If you do, let me know. This might be my favorite rice recipe from now on. It's that good, you guys. All right, so let's get started. So I'm placing my skillet over medium high heat and then I'm going to coat the bottom of the pot with a little bit of olive oil. Next I'm adding in some nose tomato based chicken bouillon powder. You want to use the tomato based 
kind and then I'm also gonna add in some of the green seasoning that I made earlier on in the video about a tablespoon of that I added about a tablespoon of the tomato bouillon powder as well so next I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo seasoning um, I added about half a teaspoon here half a teaspoon to a teaspoon you want to be careful with this because it does have salt in it and so does the Cezanne which I am adding next so with those two seasonings I added about half a teaspoon of each okay and I'm not adding any salt in this rice because I added those two seasonings so you could taste your rice and see if you need salt in it after we add the liquid all right so I cook those seasonings together for about one minute and then I'm gonna add in my rice I'm using white rice I washed it out rinsed it up with uh, fresh water twice and then I added in the rice mix it into the seasonings really well let it cook for about one to two minutes and then I'm gonna add in the liquid so I'm gonna add some tomato sauce about half of a cup and also water so I'll list the measurements for cooking the rice and the liquid in the description box down below for you guys as always give that a mix and you're gonna cover the pot tightly and let that come to a boil over high heat once it starts boiling give the rice one last stir you guys and lower the heat to the lowest setting on your stove let the rice take its time and cook until it's perfectly done and that's it you guys then you'll have some perfectly cooked rice so so good i could eat this rice by itself that's how good it is all right and you guys i paired this dish with a nice cucumber salad in my previous video if you look down on my page i have a recipe for it already the only difference here i added some sliced red onions to it and it's basically sliced cucumbers the red onions seasoned with salt black pepper crushed red pepper flakes and then I mixed some vinegar with a little bit of water and sugar and poured it over it. Let that sit with the onion and cucumbers. And then you have a yummy cucumber salad. So I paired that with the dish today. And also I made some boiled corn. So I cleaned the corn, removed the corn husk, washed it really well. And then I placed it in a boiling pot of water. I just filled the pot of water, let it come to a boil. And then I added the corn in there and i also added a few tablespoons of butter a little bit of salt let it boil for about 10 minutes and that was it a very simple boiled corn recipe when it was finished boiling and i put it on the plates um i buttered the corn so simple and delicious and that's it for today's dinner you guys after that i made myself a plate added some of my rice the corn my chicken and the cucumber salad and enjoy it and it was absolutely amazing so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed making this dinner with me thank you guys so much for watching the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time bye guys